Hello my little friends in the channel, before bedtime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, for more stories. Lenny the Lion's Lost Roar Once upon a time, in the heart of the colorful savanna, lived a young lion named Lenny. Lenny was cheerful and kind, loved by all animals. There was just one problem. Lenny had lost his roar. One morning, Lenny woke up and tried to let out his usual, Good morning, Savannah. But no sound came out. He was shocked and tried again, but all he could manage was a tiny squeak. Lenny was worried. How could a lion protect his friends and Lee without his mighty roar? First, Lenny went to see Gigi, the wise old giraffe. Gigi, I've lost my roar. Do you know where I can find it? Gigi thought for a moment, then suggested, Maybe you just need some honey from Holly the honeybee. It helps soothe my throat when it's sore. Lenny thanked Gigi and set off to find Holly. Holly was flattered and quickly gave Lenny some honey. Lenny thanked Holly and tried to roar. But all that came out was still a squeak. Next, Lenny visited Ella, the clever elephant. Ella, Lenny asked. I've tried honey, but I still can't roar. What should I do? Ella suggested. Hmm, perhaps you need to exercise your voice. Try yelling into Echo Canyon. So, Lenny journeyed to Echo Canyon and yelled with all his might. But all that echoed back was the same tiny squeak. Feeling disappointed, Lenny returned home. His friends noticed his sadness and asked what was wrong. Lenny explained his problem, and his friends listened with understanding. We love you for who you are, Lenny, not for your roar, they said. Just then, a small cub wandered too close to the river and was swept up by the strong current. Lenny saw this and knew he had to act fast. He wanted to roar, to call for help, but all he had was a squeak. But Lenny didn't give up. He ran along the river bank, keeping pace with the cub. He leapt across rocks and plunged into the water, finally reaching the cub. With a mighty effort, he managed to pull the cub to safety. As Lenny and the cub returned, all the animals cheered. Lenny felt a warm glow inside. He realized that he didn't need a roar to be brave or to lead. His actions spoke louder than any roar could. From that day forward, Lenny might not have had a roar, but he was the bravest lion in all the savannah. And whenever anyone needed help, they knew they could count on Lenny, the lion with the heart of a hero. And so, the story teaches us that it's not our voice but our actions that truly define who we are. The End